If you're an e-commerce business and you're not using ChatGPT's latest AI image update, then you're definitely leaving money on the table. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down 10 powerful AI prompts that you can use to generate images, whether it's for ads, your website, your product, and so much more. And I'm gonna be going over each of these 10 prompts in each use case that you can use in your business today. It doesn't matter whether you're selling pet products, skincare, clothing, or even supplements. Whatever it is you sell, this will work. So let's go ahead and go through the 10 use cases that you can start applying to your business today. So here we are in the latest ChatGPT 4.0 update and the role of a designer and graphic designer has definitely changed because you can now generate pretty much any image you can think of using AI. And when I talk about this tool, it's pretty incredible how far along that it's come and it's going to change businesses forever going forward. And just to show you some of these use cases that I've been going through, is I asked ChatGPT 4.0, which is the paid version that you have to be on. It's their smallest plan, like $20. I asked it to create an image and I said, a realistic mock-up of a white reusable pouch labeled Cheers, dental wipes for dogs. I'm essentially asking ChatGPT to create me a image of a product that I could potentially make and create and launch a e-commerce brand around. So it generated a concept for me and I asked it to do clean, minimal branding, modern packaging, and no background distractions, and it'd be a high resolution. This is the first version that it created, which is pretty simple. It's just dental wipes for dogs. So what I did was I asked it to design on the packaging resembling a dog. And then I got this version, which although it's minimal, I kind of like it and how it ended up coming out. It says clean teeth and gums. The new AI update is really good with text, which is one of the features that they didn't have previously. And you couldn't really make out some of the text or font that it was trying to create, but now it's almost indistinguishable from an actual product mock-up or image. This was all done with AI. And so what I did was I took this image of the first mock-up of the product that it came up with, and I ended up liking this packaging. So I went to the next prompt and I asked it to create a joyful golden retriever sitting on a cozy couch with a young woman using the dental wipes on its teeth and essentially make it a TikTok UGC style image. So that way we could use it in a lifestyle post and we could have this on our website we could use this in ads. There's a lot of things we could do with this lifestyle image. And here's what ChatGPT created, which is pretty insane to think about here. This dog looks very real. The person looks extremely real. It's almost indistinguishable from reality. And this was all generated with AI. It even put our product packaging here. So somebody else is holding the product. And here we are. It's the dog dental wipes and the dog's teeth are being cleaned with this product. Now, this is definitely a game changer because we can pump out content for ads, websites, social posts, and so much more and get concepts for maybe a photo shoot you might wanna do or just replace the photo shoot altogether. The next prompt I asked it to create was a themed banner for the e-commerce website for this product that we came up with. And I wanted it to be spring themed since spring is approaching and showing the image on the right hand side with spring flowers and dog toys nearby on the left side and include a short headline and shop now button so that way we could add it to our Shopify site. And this is the image it generated, which goes really well with the actual product branding. So we went for the minimal look and the colors of the flowers, they're very spring oriented. It even matched the flower colors with the dog toy. And rather than using that neon green tennis ball that most people might think, it used a more brand friendly for the design and packaging that we're going for and keeping the white spacing pretty in line with our overall brand vision here which is kind of bizarre. But one thing it did get wrong was fresh for spring shop now. Now the text was a little bit cut on this and it's not that hard to actually fix something like this in Canva or Photoshop, but I simply just asked it to move the text on the left slightly to the right. And here's what it did. It just pushed the text over. So I didn't even have to go make that change. If I liked this image, I could quite literally take this and add it as a product banner. And we know with product banners, if you have your image on the right-hand side, especially for desktop, it is very easy for you to add a CTA and a headline on the left side, which improves conversion rates. And especially more minimal versions of these are extremely high converting in that aspect. Now we could also have it create a 9 by 16 version for a mobile friendly design as well that we could plug and play into our website banner. The next prompt I had to create was a comparison of the before and after result of using this product on a dog if you were to use dental wipes. And here's the image that it generated. We have a perfect before and after image. So we could create comparison ads, we can create lifestyle. And here it is, the dog with dirty teeth and then clean teeth. And then we have our product right here. We could also ask it to add a headline in this white space if we wanted to, to fill in the text or we could plug it into Canva and add it in there. So this can also create you comparison ads, which are also what we know works 
to be proven with Facebook ads and conversions. Now that we have our banner, our lifestyle image, our comparison ad, well, let's go ahead and have it create a product page and see if it can design a website. And I went ahead and asked it to just see what it could do with this. And this is the first revision that it came out with. Once again, minimal design. We have our add to cart button and even added in pricing, $16.99 for our dental wipes and then our product description. Now this website could probably use a little bit of optimization, but the direction of where this could go is beginning to unfold. And I was curious on what other ways we could potentially move this in another direction by having us include upsells to increase our AOVs on the product website and bundle this product together. So I asked it to add additional features and benefits on the right-hand side so we can fill in this website for our mock-ups. And I also asked it to include an upsell to bundle so that way we can increase our AOVs. And so I added in some bullet points and then it added in or buy the bundle. So now we have a bundle-based website design where we have our product that they can add to cart. Then we could send this to a website designer to actually build this out. And so I wanted to take it a step further because at this point I was like, I like the minimal branding across the board, but I was curious how far you could really take ChatGPT 4.0 in its design capabilities to create potentially more colorful or more playful website designs. I said, make the product page more colorful with playful dog images. And this is the design that it came out with. This one blew my mind because it is extremely well put together. The product branding I like as well. We could even decide to scrap all of our minimalist design and go with this direction. We have a dog here, which is more visually shown. And then we have our free shipping and then we have our add to cart button. And this design really sticks out because we have dog paw prints. We have dog toys in the background and everything here. And this is a website design that we could start to plug in and give designers as feedback for how we want our website to look. And you can see here, all of the text is perfectly inputted into this image. The next way that we could potentially use this was, well, what if we wanted to simulate real customers sharing images of them with the product and their unique dog? We want different dogs and different ways to appeal to different pet owners with this product. So why don't we have a collage of people actually using it? And I ended up asking it to include it with Instagram style filters. And this is the image that it generated with our minimalist product packaging design. And here we go. We have our pet owners here both male and female with each of their different dogs. And this can appeal more widely to different audiences and individuals that have different pets. Now, one thing I did notice with this image, which isn't perfect yet, but it's a simple fix. If you look really closely, this line of text is unlegible and it doesn't really make out to be an actual word, which isn't necessarily a problem because we could just go into Photoshop and quickly fix that. But it is to say that ChatGPT is still working on some of their models to improve overall results. But I wouldn't let that take away from how far this has actually come because it's an amazing tool that I'm definitely going to be using and I highly recommend all of you to be using as well. In fact, I actually put all these prompts together plus an extra 10 that you can start using today in your e-commerce business to generate results. And you can actually find that link below this video here. So the next use case, well, we need a how-to step-by-step guide because we know this increases conversions on a Shopify store. So I wanted it to illustrate a process of using our product and actually breaking down the steps of how you would use this in an illustration. And this is the image it generated, which would go on our product page below the fold for when people are curious on how the product works. And here it is, it put in open pouch, wipe your dog's teeth, and then you reward him with a treat, which is pretty nice to see. And it looked a little too basic for me, even though I liked the minimal aspect, I just wanted it to have maybe some more icons for a visual appeal. And so I said, add a step one, two, and three icon next to the text that are playful. And without it interrupting our design, it actually kept it very simple. One, two, and three. And then we have a dog and we have a treat, which is a little bit more engaging to me than just the basic image here. And we could even follow up with more prompts and continue to iterate on this process as we go. The next version is, well, what if our e-commerce site is going successful and we want to launch a pop-up shop or do an event for our product at a local trade show? Well, we could take it from online to in-person. What would those designs look like? So I asked it to show us what our products would look like on shelves or in a branded booth at an event or pop-up. And here is what the outcome image looks like. And we have our banner of the product name, Cheers and the dental wipes for dogs on a shelf. And this is a visual of what it could look like in stores or even sitting inside of our warehouse ready to be packed up and shipped. And maybe I want to have something where I ask ChatGPT to say, all right, now show somebody grabbing this 
and placing it inside of a box inside of our warehouse. We could quite literally ask ChatGPT to do that and use that as a warehouse sell based ad. And then finally, the 10th use case for how you can use ChatGPT 4.0 with image design iterations for your website, product images, and so much more. I asked it to visualize an upcoming or hypothetical product drop because we know product drops do extremely well. They can generate insane return on ad spend, ROIs, and allow you to scale up ads and sell out that product very quickly because it's tied to some form of nostalgia or seasonality. And so I asked it to create a pumpkin spice scented pet wipe with flavors around the product and a dog in a costume. And here is the image it generated, which is a fall themed pumpkin spice version of a product drop we could do. Now it didn't do the dog in a costume as an actual visual, but it did adjust our logo and put the dog inside of a pumpkin head, which I thought was pretty creative of ChatGBT to do. But these are the 10 use cases that you could start applying into your business today to start generating extra sales save time, money with graphic designers, and completely change the direction of where you take your e-commerce business. Now, I went over another use case where I fully broke down exactly how you can use AI with ads in this video. And if you wanna learn how you can actually scale up your e-commerce store by scaling up paid ads on Facebook, TikTok, how to optimize your Shopify store, email, SMS, and so much more, I highly recommend checking out this video here. Once again, it's your favorite digital marketer here, Chase Chapel. Cheers and bye all.